Okay, to match back to our exotic print uh, pants that we just talked about, we have the eyelash, and I love how soft these are, yarn. So it's a little more fuzzier and soft uh, matching sweaters. So here it is for you in that gorgeous olive python. Is that lots of fun? It's a little more oversized. Then right behind that, that's that gorgeous navy tiger. And I'll bring the pants over so you can see how great those are gonna look with it. Here it is for you in that cognac cheetah. I love, I just to wear this back with basic black denim, isn't that fun? I love how she did that print on there. And then for those of you that bought that snow leopard, we have this for you in the gray leopard. So those are the options that we have for everybody. My top's gonna be coming up as well. But Diane, I love how you did what they call the eyelash yarn. And if you look closely on this, you can actually see like little eyelashes and I'll hold it up this way so you can kind of see the dimension to it. Uh, the little eyelashes that kind of stick up. So it's a very soft, almost like faux fur like, right? And uh, that is a very, very uh, strong message from Europe is doing super, oh, that's a great shot, Amy. There you You're blinding see. me with your diamond oh, ring, but. <laughs> Let me do this. Could it be bigger? No, stop. But <laughs> Look at that. This see? is 100% acrylic. And so you can get this kind of dimensionality from it. So if it was a mohair sweater, it would probably be about $750. Wow. It, it is not scratchy like mohair. And I always tell this story. Um, I grew up in LA and moved out to Whittier when I was eight years old, which is in the middle of the desert. And my mother was very fashionista. And she insisted in the winter, where it was only 100 degrees every day in the desert, that I be wearing true fall clothing. I had, at that time, <laughs> they were Angora oh. sweaters and mohair sweaters. Yeah. She would take the Angora sweaters. I remember I had one in baby pink with short sleeves, oh. big puffs, short sleeves. And we would put it in the freezer oh, overnight. Geez. That's what you did with them. And then you could bear to wear them for about two hours until, honestly, they weren't frozen anymore. <laughs> when they didn't have their own refrigeration, See? they were horrible to wear. This is a great acrylic that looks like mohair and angora. It's not particularly weighty, but has such a cool look to it. I love an oversized sweater like this. It hides every lump and bump. And at the same time, people are fascinated with it because it is intarsia. This is a true intarsia sweater, which means it has to go on a special knitting machine that can carry X number of colors of yarn at once and knit out with no trailing yarn on the inside these beautiful patterns. Who and how could you go wrong I know. with an animal spot, a tiger stripe, a leopard face? I mean, I think the leopard face is one of my favorites. But see, I love the way Annette has it on with a matching, really richly colored uh, suede boot. These are sweaters that you can throw in a washer and a dryer. They're always going to keep their texture and they're always going to keep their shape. And they're beautiful to wear, even under something like a slightly oversized jean jacket. Oh, yeah. I love the fact that we now have a sweater expert. <gasps> and we were able to give so much style to the season. Yeah, aren't they great? Yeah, see, I love that. I love, I the, love I, that. I know. If you're like, okay, I don't want to do the matchy-matchy with the bottom, you don't. You don't have to. Look yeah. at this back with the classic black. These are coming up for $37 and change. Look at that, Diane. I love doing something like that. Or even if you wanted to go back with the black, look at this look here. Isn't this sharp? And then you can wear like a white. Oh, fantastic poplin. looking. Right? And, and then you've got, I'm always of the mind that you should, I call them hero outfits. So when you have, a, when you want to put together a hero outfit for impact, you should only have one hero at a time or these heroes are going to yes. fight one another. And this, what those, these sweaters are definitely heroes without a doubt. Oh, so Diane. look at this. What? Wait till you see this combo. Oh yeah. I love that. See, there, and there's... that is so purely Italian this year. Gotcha. Gucci made that rust 
their number one color. Valentino followed. Dolce Gambana followed. So mm -hmm. for all of these, Rust is a big winner, but also if you guys loved our September flex stretch story and our jegging, we do have chocolate brown, we do have gray, we do have OG green, so those colors will go back to it as well. Personally, for me, a sweater like the leopard sweater with a, a great black skinny jean, a good black leather boot, or a good black fashion sneaker if Ooh. I'm in the home doing stuff and having people over, you cannot overheat in acrylic. It looks substantial. It looks very much in mode for the season, but it, you're fooling everybody because it's not, it's not wool. It's not scratchy, but it looks authentic authentically mohair and if you go to all the high-end sites online you will see mohair number one discussion in sweaters for the year and it will only get stronger next year we are doing a lot with texture because i really believe in that look at how rich that is that looks. rich and again when yeah, you get and it would home, you think that you you're you would swear this is a mohair sweater that's how soft and beautiful this is and by the way you can machine wash these so I'm just showing this back up. You've got options. I, I love picking up this up in the navy, and you can see whether it's chambray, I'm showing this with, indigo, mid-tone. So think about all the colors of Diane Gilman jeans you have. See how you can build the perfect fall-winter wardrobe here, and it's not scratchy. So if you wanna layer this up, you can layer this up. So if you wanna wear long underwear underneath it, you can. You can wear oh, it yeah. by itself. It it's just so beautiful, and really the quality that Diane's bringing to us for giving us these textures that come together. I know your TV's not doing it justice, but it is it's so soft, so beautiful, and it's longer and covers. A very, and, and a nice oversized fit on this, which right. I love too, so that if you're gonna wear it with a skinny, like that great classic $37 skinny that's coming up in the next hour, I always am a big believer, because I'm big on top, small on the bottom, I believe big loose relaxed oversized sweater looks so lush against a lean bottom i agree so remember proportions is what diane's explaining to us bigger on top smaller on bottom or if you have big on bottom then tuck